Hi guys, it's Tiffany here. Okay, as an OMH agency client, you have access to something very special that we're actually really excited about. It is our client portal. For months and months, I looked for a solution to being able to provide you something to look at and see that what we're doing for you is really, really making a difference in your marketing. And in doing so, I looked at a lot of things that didn't work or that wasn't easy to use or that um, as someone who trusts us to take care of your marketing, you probably don't want to log in and see a bunch of weird stuff that you don't really know what it means. And even through this portal, that might be how you're feeling. It might be what's stopped you from looking at it up to date. So what I'm about to do is I'm going to show you how to log in, how to use it and what to look for. So to get to the client portal, you click, you type in client.omhagency.com and you'll want to enter your email and then the password that we set up for you. If you don't remember or you don't have the email or the password that we sent to you, go ahead and click this forgot password and you'll be able to reset it. This first page is your main dashboard. Over to the right, you can select which dates you want to view. So here it has the last 30 days, but if you want to pull previous stats, you can do that. And on this main dashboard, you can see some basic Google Analytics for your website, who's referred you to, uh, users to your website, up here is really what I love. Um, there are quick links. So it's I've created a dashboard for you specifically. So this link will go to your big list with your passwords and, and everything like that. Uh, the post uh, blog posts to review if you are a secret sauce client where we help you with your blog posts and your email campaign and your social media. Uh, then you have blog posts and social media posts to review on your own dashboard. It should also say which dates you need to review it. So if it's before that date, then your blog post isn't ready for you yet. If it's after that date, then it's already been posted. But here are really easy links. You will still continue to get the email reminders to review your blog posts and social media posts. Here, if you have a shared Dropbox with OMH, then this would be the link to that. Uh, and then also if we manage your website, uh, you remember that you have up to an hour's worth of website changes and uh, the form to make those requests would be linked right here. Also, I wanna add that if you do not submit any change requests for your website and we manage your website for you, uh, we do a uh, SEO audit and we'll just make changes based on the recommendations for the SEO audit. Uh, so we, we, no matter what, we do one hour's worth of changes on your website, whether it's just to improve the search engine optimization or whether it is from your change request form. And then here's a link to change your billing preferences. And then here is the Google Analytics traffic source overview. Um, I don't use this a lot. I would say that probably who refers me I, I like to see uh, which operating systems people are using. Um, and then here is um, a bigger uh, list of the referring sites. As far as website analytics, my favorite page is the SEO. If we do your monthly SEO services, mo uh, local SEO services, then you will have a live search engine optimization dashboard. So you just pull down and go to your search engine optimization dashboard. And um, here you'll see, this is not 100% accurate because I know I've checked ours on Google, our rankings, and they're different. Um, and I've checked some of yours too, um, and oftentimes they're different, but this kind of gives you a general idea. I just kind of like to look at this and see what the trend is. The next part of the search engine dashboard are kind of details on what we're doing for you. So. Uh, one of the things is remember you get 10 directory submissions every week, uh, every month, I'm sorry. And here shows what, what links were done when. So it's, you can scroll down and see right up to this date, which have been submitted. And then over here, there are also photos that are submitted every month, as well as um, some just short informational videos that it's just uh, created from images from your Google submission. 
and then uh, social submissions as well. So all that's done every month and you can just look and see what was done for the month. And then here, these are two of my favorite uh, stats to look at. One is landing pages. I like to see where people are entering my website. So here you can see the bulk of people are coming in. This little splash just means it's your homepage. Um, so here I can see services. And then here, like number six, this is actually a blog post. And if you're a Secret Sauce customer or you've heard my Web of Awesome presentation, then you hear me talk about like, oh, you know, by adding blog posts, there are all these opportunities to create one more landing page for your website. Well, that's where you start to see these um, uh, show up is where you're looking at the landing page and and blog posts are showing up as um, as landing pages and then over here social referrals so which social media is bringing in the most traffic so that's an overview of the search engine optimization dashboard again uh, you will only see that if you are an SEO client um, and then here, let's look at the Facebook dashboard. If we take care of your social media, then you'll have access to Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn uh, dashboards as well. So here on Facebook, this is just a general overview of the reach, views, engagement, clicks, likes. Um, we like to, I really like to look and see what are some of the top posts that are in, not just showing up at like engaged user because that's what we're looking for likes and comments and shares and things like that so um, we look at this we actually have obviously a much more in-depth uh, report but i wanted to keep this really simple so that it didn't get all technical you know how i can geek out well we have our own internal reports that we use where we're able to kind of see what trends are and things like that but here just kind of gives you an idea of what types of posts get the most engagement and then over here uh, are, um, this is just kind of an overview of your ads. You might see two different widgets with this. Again, remember that sometimes when we do ads, it is to boost a post, which means that we want more engagement. And then sometimes we'll do ads to boost your followers. So um, you'll see your statistics, you know, one month you'll get just all of a sudden you're like, why did I get so many users, but my engagement's down? Well, we could have been optimizing uh, for one over the other. And we usually do, uh, with, the, with the budget that we have, it's really good just to kind of focus on one goal and go for it. And then we just uh, just kind of go back and forth a month after month. So let's go to the Twitter dashboard. And so you can see again, top left, I usually just try to keep this kind of an overview. So if you just wanna see, oh look, there's a green arrow up, love to see those. Um, Again, over here, favorite, same thing. Again, over on the right, we have the top tweets according to engagement. And Twitter ads won't come up because OMH, we don't do Twitter ads for ourselves. But if you are a secret sauce client, meaning that we handle your blog posts, social media posts, and email campaigns, then we do uh, $20 a month worth of Twitter ads for you. So you will have data in the Twitter ads uh, dashboard. And as always, if you have any questions about any of this, just uh, contact us. Give us a, probably send an email with your questions so that we can kind of prepare and get back to you. Here's the LinkedIn dashboard. LinkedIn um, and company pages, unless you're really promoting it and getting involved, uh, it's a great way to do uh, SEO so that you're getting noticed more by Google. But um, people typically like to engage with people more than companies, but you can see um, here on this page, you can see like how many impressions you're getting and if you're getting any engagement and such. Uh, again, um, top posts by comments, but usually the company pages uh, until you're like a powerhouse LinkedIn user, it's they're slow to grow. So this is a again, big ship moving down the channel, um, keeping the content flowing and uh, those links, inbound links from LinkedIn really help your SEO. And then again, if you are a secret sauce client and we manage your blog posts, email campaigns and social media, you will have an email campaign dashboard. And this is just for demonstration purposes. Um, OMH actually has switched to active campaign as a provider. You, if you started with get response, you probably still have get response. I love it because it has exactly what we need for a more affordable price. ActiveCampaign is hugely customizable and we can create all these automations. So 
uh, OMH ourselves were with Active Campaign, but I just wanted to give you an example. If you have Get Responses, is what it would look like. It'd look a little bit different if you have Active Campaign, but you can see it, it has. Um, if you know, we've if you're a Secret Sauce client, we've set up three lists for you, so you'll see how many subscribers are in each list, and then down here it, it will show your most recent campaign and the results of that. If you have any questions about what is a good response rate, what is a good open rate, what is a good click-through rate, let me know. It does vary from industry to industry, but I know some of you are getting, you know, 18, 20. I know there's even like a 50%, which is completely unheard of open rate. It's just insane. Um, those are very, very good. So we do keep an eye on that. Again, we have more uh, detailed, stats on our side. Um, if you're not happy with how many people are signing up for your email list, one thing I can tell you across the board, um, the clients who have a very aggressive giveaway at the bottom of the blog post get a much better subscription rate on their website. So if you feel like you're not happy with how many subscribers you're getting from your website, then we need to set up a meeting to talk about a more aggressive giveaway. So when someone's reading your blog post and they get to the bottom and you're like, Hey, you know, sign up for the email list and get this and that. And here's the download that you get in exchange. Um, people who have aggressive giveaways that are amazing, that it's your secrets. Remember how at the beginning when we met, I said, if it hurts a little bit to give it away, then it's a good giveaway. Uh, it has been proven time and again that that is the absolute truth. If it's kind of something that's a little more vanilla and, you know, maybe it's, you know, information that someone could just easily readily get from anybody, uh, we've seen that the subscription rates are significantly lower. So uh, we want to help you get as many leads as possible. So definitely send me an email and say, hey, we need to talk about a giveaway um, and we can either do it by email or on the phone or we can meet about it. Uh, but let's, let's make sure that you're getting as many leads as possible. Um, and then also there's one page that you don't see on here, but if you, if we handle your email campaign, um, and you're part of our secret sauce where we handle your, you know, blog posts, social media and emails, you will see a uh, dashboard number seven where it's an archive of email campaigns and you will have a full list where it will scroll down and you'll be able to see your past email campaigns, your most recent email campaigns, and get a sense of that. Now, the oldest ones are at the top, so scroll down to see the most recent ones when you're looking at past email campaigns. So there you have it, the client dashboard. I hope you use it because it's really helpful. And like I said, it's such a priority to us. So we put a lot into researching the most simple, effective way to share information with you about what's happening with your website, your social media, and your email campaigns all in one spot. And I hope you use it and be sure to give us feedback about, you know, ways that maybe we can make it easier or information that you'd like to see on it. Thanks so much for being a part of the OMH agency family and we'll talk to you soon.